In this video, we will discuss about the Newton's laws of motion and Newton's law of gravitational attraction. Let us imagine that you are taking rest. And suddenly, you remembered that you are left with some important work. You can imagine how difficult it would be to get up and do the work. Let's think a person running fast, and, if he wants to stop instantly, will he be able to do it? The answer would be a no. He can stop, but gradually. The same scenario will apply for every object, that is, every object will continue to do what it's doing. If it is at rest, it will remain at rest. And if it is in motion, it will remain in motion. This can be changed only when an unbalanced force acts on the object. This is nothing but the Newton's first law of motion. It states that an object at rest stays at rest and an object in motion stays in motion with the same speed and in the same direction unless acted upon by an unbalanced force. The first law contains the principle of the equilibrium of forces, which means the net force will become zero. It is the main topic of concern in statics. What happens when there is some net force acting on an object? That is what second law discuss. When acted upon by an unbalanced force, there will be acceleration. Let's take an object. If you apply a small amount of force, it will rotate slightly, and if you apply a large amount of force, then it will rotate fast. Hence, acceleration is proportional to the force applied. Now, if a person carrying a few books can run fast, then what about the same person carrying a huge number of books? He will run slowly. Hence, we can say that acceleration is inversely proportional to the object mass. The change of motion is proportional to the imposed driving force and occurs along a straight line in which the force acts. Second law forms the basis for most of the analysis in dynamics. Third law. What happens when two objects interact with each other? When a ball hits the wall, the ball exerts a force on the wall, and the wall exerts a force on the ball. There are two forces that result from the interaction. The magnitude of two forces are the same, but the directions are opposite. These forces are called action and reaction forces. Third law states that every action has an equal and opposite reaction. That is, forces always occur in pairs of equal and opposite forces. Newton's law of gravitational attraction. Gravitational force is the attractive force between any two objects with non-zero mass separated by a distance. If we consider Earth and Sun in the solar system, the Earth is revolving around the Sun in a particular orbit because of the gravitational force between them. Based on the gravitational force, both the Sun and Earth apply an equal force to attract each other towards itself. If the forces are equal, which one will accelerate more? Does the Earth move towards the Sun, or does the Sun move towards the Earth, or do they both move towards each other? Based on Newton's second law, we know that the acceleration is inversely proportional to mass. If the mass is more, the acceleration will be lesser. As the mass of the Sun is much higher than the mass of the Earth, the Earth will accelerate more towards the Sun than the Sun accelerating towards the Earth. How to quantify this force? For this, we need to understand universal law of gravitation. Say there are two objects A and B separated by distance d. Assume the mass of object A is m1 and that of B is m2. Every object in the universe attracts every other object with a force F, which is directly proportional to the product of their masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. This law governs the gravitational attraction between any two objects. Here, g is the universal constant of gravitation. Similarly, if an object is located at or near the surface of the Earth, there is a gravitational force of attraction between the Earth and the object. That is, gravitational attraction of the Earth. This gravitational attraction will result in the weight of an object. So, weight of an object having mass m is given by Weight of a body is required to be computed in statics and dynamics.
In this video, we have discussed about Newton's laws of motion and Newton's law of gravitational attraction.